Welcome to Wargore TV and episode 64. I'm your host Adam and tonight I'm joined by the wonderful Bish. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> and we're going to be bringing you a game of Age of Sigmar 2000 points from the General's Handbook 2023 through to 2024. We cannot, of course, go any further without saying a huge thank you to all those awesome people out there who are our patrons, which includes Bish as well, and all our sponsors and affiliates that you'll have seen on the intro on the way in. So thank you very much, guys. And thank you. It all makes a big difference. Thank you very much. Even you, just a viewer. Thank you. Hello, you. Hello. Yes. Yes. And so tonight, today, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. And... What should we be using? What are you going to use for the, the wonderful viewers in Christmas land stuffed full of turkey at the moment? We're going with a bit of a change. Bit We're change. going <gasps> with change himself. See what We're he did playing there. some Disciples of Zinch. Oh, okay, so I'm going to get magic off the board. It's a magical time of year, so it why is. not? It, it, it feels right. But you know that you can hear that scurrying. You can you can hear you can almost smell and hear the cheese. It, it's time for Ratfink to return and see if they can finally do something. Because I don't think there's been a time yet where I've managed to put Ratfink on the channel and he's done nothing but skitter away for another day. So it's his Christmas wish, nay, maybe his Christmas miracle that he can do something against these. Uh, fiendish forces of magic themselves yeah that's sounds, it. Like, sounds like a good idea but before we can go any further and find out what fiendish plan that we are playing that maybe ratfink knows but maybe i don't know we're gonna have to say and find out from the man himself what uh, what we're playing some say that he actually has santa in his uh, speed dial on his mobile phone and that he actually goes on holiday with him in June to Hawaii. All we know is he's called the cleric. Geomantic pulse. Andor's shifting planes beat with frigid power. Now many seek to seize and harness such an energy source to freeze their foes solid. Claim the pulse for your own or your own warriors may be next. The Pulse. At the start of the second battle round, after determining which player will take the first turn, the player taking the second turn picks either Objective A or Objective B to be the Pulse for that battle round. At the start of each subsequent battle round, the objective adjacent to the pulse that has not yet been the pulse becomes the pulse. Only one objective can be the pulse per battle round. Objectives cannot be moved in this battle. You score points as such. Score one victory point if you control at least one objective. Score two victory points if you control the pulse. Score one victory point for either objective adjacent to the pulse that you control. Score two victory points if you completed your battle tactic that you picked earlier in the turn. The Disciples of Zeech and the sub-faction, Guild of Summoners. Let's take a look at the general now, the Gaunt Summoner. Now, he has a command trait of Demon Spark, the artifact of power is the Eternal Shroud, and he's taken the spell Hoarfrost and Merciless Blizzard. Also, we have the Curseling. Now, he's taken the spells of Arcane Suggestion and Merciless Blizzard. Notice the theme we've got going on here. But standing tall above all of them, Mr. Kairos Fate Weaver. Then we have a Zangor um, Shaman. He's got the spells of Glimpse of the Future and Shield of Fate. And we've got some Enlightened on Discs there, just right behind him. And behind them, we have our first unit of Acolytes. And then behind them, we've got the Endless Spell Portal. And right next to that, we've got the Tome of Eyes. 
before moving across we've got the Geminids always handy in a uh, big army of magic users like this and then another unit of acolytes and then just coming into the headlights here we've got a unit of horrors of Zeech, the pink variety. Standing in front of them, we have the Magister, and he has the spells Glimpse of the Future and Shield of Fate. That rounds out the army. It's at 1990. Welcome to the Skaven and Ratfink's personal bodyguard. Speaking of the chap, there he is with his command trait of Deranged Inventor and a spell of More More Warp Power. Right behind him, Big Thankwall himself, Riding Bone Ripper, and he's taken the spell Skitter Leap, and a Rattling Cannon just next to him, and there we have 20 Clan Rats, and of course there's Tiny Tim, and he has Toughened Sinews, giving him a 4-up save and 16 wounds. Then we have 6 Storm Fiends, a reinforced pack, 2 Wind Launchers, two rattling cannons and two shock gauntlets and then right next to them we've got the vermin lord deceiver he's got flaming weapon spell and the artifact of the shadow magnet trinket allowing strike first at any one point and then tucked in behind them rounding out the army we've got another 20 clan rats that brings us to 1990 on the nose and we're in a battle regiment so we are a one drop as well the Zeech huddled tightly around the arcane monument, channeling their magical energies, ready to spring their dominance across the field. But the Skaven had other ideas, spreading their forces out wide, huddling themselves around an arcane tower. They were ready to decide just as and when this game would start. Ratfink, leading from the back, hiding behind the tower, you can see him there, whilst the Eshin leader looked across an empty flank. The decision was made. They would let the forces of Zeech go first. So, turn one, we got given first turn, would have been more ideal, but we went with it. So we went with the battle tactic call for change, so we had to summon another chicken. As you can see from the table, we have two, so battle tactic complete. By doing that, we had to get uh, nine spells off, we did manage it. Two spells did get dispelled though, and they were both the end of the spell, seeing they're still sat off the table unfortunately, but we moved up a little bit. We got another Lord of Change on the table, and that was turn one. Pretty much it, wasn't it? Yeah, there was nothing much else. That's it, covering as many as you can. The uh, guys over there ran as fast as they could from their starting position, which was ridiculous, seeing as the, uh, was it Hero popped a six for a run, Unit popped a, uh, managed a six as well. No problems at all. Blocking out the uh, Warp Lightning, uh, Warp Lightning, sorry, the uh, Nar Holes, as it were. And uh, yeah, well. It uh, puts you on the lovely three, is the maximum you can score. Max points for turn one. And we'll um, see what we do then in the next turn. Welcome to Ratfink's Turn 1. Right. Well, who knew that apparently you start a game with 2,000 points and apparently it's Kentucky Fried Chicken Day and chickens just pop out the ground. Unbelievable. In one turn. So he sits there and Ratfink's already annoyed with the world at this point. He's like, 
Unbelievable! Um, so he thinks to himself, right, can I produce a chicken? No. What battle tactic am I going to go for then? I tell you what, we will surround and destroy our foe. That's what we chose. Not realising the pieces that we chose, how dangerously um, close we were to failing the battle tactic. But I digress. Um, so, we chose the... Um, the the Eshin model himself, the, the sneaky one, he would be part of the surround and destroy. We chose the rattling cannon, which wasn't going anywhere yet. He was just looking at his um, gnar hole, thinking that would be nice to go down. And we chose Tiny Tim. Now, Tiny Tim has a movement characteristic of 2d6 and quite a large base. As I rolled the dice, that started to flick through my head. <laughs> oh dear. Um, fortunately, just, just scampered across the line just enough to get us the battle tactic for you um now magic wise in the hero phase things weren't fantastic when you're facing basically the paul daniels magic show um uh, age related reference there and for our american viewers uh, a very uh, notified uh, english magician from 80s and 90s anyway um pen and teller there you go um so we were facing pen and teller um for um for turn one, we weren't really going to get much through, but we did manage to um, uh, get uh, we the um, flaming weapon off over here on the big rat. Um, we did try for a mystic shield, and Kairos and friends said no. Um, we then, but then we did get off. Um, we did get these guys to have plus one to hit and plus one to wound, and at the end of the turn, take D three mortal wounds. And of course, I roll three. So I take three wounds on there. Um, they were on plus one uh, to hit, plus one to wound. But I did also use the spark from the resonator to make sure uh, that uh, they were um, extra damage per hit, which was quite significant. Uh, Ratfink jumped into his arcane house, shouted the commands out, and everything moved forward. These boys opened fire on 10 pink horrors. Now, Ratfink had to rub his eyes again, because he swears to God there was only 10 models there before. And apparently when you put in an absolute bucket load of destruction, that unit should be gone. But there are still two pinks and a multitude of brimstone horrors now, which are still on that objective. Fortunately, that wasn't the plan. We did try to charge them with everything, couldn't get there too far away. So we just scampered in with one unit on here to make sure we have an objective, which in turn one is not really the problem. And Mr. Eshin boy threw his stiletto over here, but he only threw one shot. It got through, we did two damage. Again, just warming up, just warming up. And, and that's about it for a turn one impulse. It's a little bit move up and wait for, wait for this. So, me and Bish will now roll for our priority. Oh, a two. Oh, a five. So, the forces of Penn and Tell are going to let me go? I, th I think the water change is going to make us go for We're going to go Have for it. predicted it? We've predicted it. We've oh, seen it. A, We're going to take the turn. That, that's a shame. All right, viewers. See you soon. So, turn two. Didn't go quite as to plan as we would like. We went for the uh, battle tactic of Kairos having to cast three spells, and um, he cast his uh, middle spell on a 14 that got unbound, which uh, put our battle tactic in the bin. So then from there, we've got a few more spells off. Didn't get quite as much as we liked. The spell portal is still sat on the side. It's still not made it onto the table as of yet. As you can see from the board though, we are a few more rats light. We managed to take them off this objective here, but we had to leave the uh, the big assassin just sitting over there on the on pulse. The pulse that's where I put it. That's it. Yes, yeah, so not ideal. We've moved up. The brimstones are still alive at this point. We took a few more of these big boys off. The two hitty ones are now gone. Mm -hmm. 
Apart from that, we've just sort of shimmied around a little bit and we've also got a Chaos Spawn just arrived at the back, you know, just to add to the fun of this. Cast a spell. Cast a spell. Dropped all the rats. Killed some rats, got a Chaos Spawn. Where we're sitting now, we're not looking too badly, but we'd have liked some more points for that battle tactic. Now we just got to see what these rats can do in return. So that leaves us on. That leaves us on just two points for this turn. Right, Skaven turn two. Um, really, really would have liked the double, but uh, at least I suppose I got to choose the priority of the pulse. Um, but with a spawn picking up and holding my clan rats there, uh, there was a few worrying thoughts. Um, but we thought, you know what? We've got some battle iron around, we've got some heroes. Why don't we be led into the maelstrom? So that's exactly what we went for. Um, we found out over here that really Tiny Tim was blocked in. The clan rats couldn't escape because it didn't matter which way they went, the brimstones or the newly invented spawn <sighs> was stopping them retreating. So we couldn't rely on that. Um, meanwhile, um, we were thinking, right, we're going to have to probably get the um, storm fiends in as they are battle line, as Rat Fink is the, their general. And the big Eshin boy he's going to have to charge as well, and someone's going to have to stay within three inches. Um, it all got a bit hairy, I'll be honest. Um, Spells-wise, um, Bish just completely shut me down. Wasn't happening. Even though we got primals each, he got thousands of primals, he just said, no, I don't think so, Adam. And I was like, oh, fair enough. Um, we then went back through and we thought, right, let's, let's get some shooting done then. Let's get some of that in. So... We've been waiting a while to do this. We thought, oh, we'll get well, nice and toasty. It's a bit warm at winter, a bit cold at winter, so we'll warm ourselves up. We'll get some warp fire licked all over those acolytes that we just stood there. Well, you'd think maybe that's where they went. No, turns out you get 24 dice. You're thinking fours. You're like, woohoo! Six, six wounds. Six wounds out of 24. And then Bish saved one. So we actually only managed to kill five, which I suppose in a way, though, thank goodness, because it gave us uh, another battle line unit to charge something else, so that, that was a good thing. The Meanwhile, however, the, the rattling cannons and the um, wind launchers fired into the other 10 acolytes, and they just deleted them. There was no problems with that. Bang, 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 bang. They just fell over. That's how you do it, apparently. You don't use, um, don't use the old uh, warp stone. Just use good old bullets. That, that'll delete that. So we've got rid of both units of acolytes. Meanwhile, big Eshin boy um, snuck up, threw his, uh, his Warpstone Stars and managed to cause, like, a wound. Okay, so nothing fancy going on there. Meanwhile, behind the house, though, there was a lovely rattling cannon. Uh, rattling gun, sorry. And he went absolutely... He went, yeah, 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 yeah. More, 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 more warp power. Pumped up 23 shots into the newly formed chicken that wasn't here before. And um, he shot them in, and from a one wound uh, Lord of Change that wasn't here before. There is now a 10 wound taken Lord of Change. But unfortunately, because we uh, overcharged the guns a little bit, we kind of went bang because we've got a four, a double five and a six. And any doubles, kaboom, once you overcharge. So, But I think it was worth it. Rat Fink was quite happy with him. Um, so then we had to charge. So we had five acolytes left. We went in there, we deleted those. Tiny Tim, sick of being trapped in, charged in, and with the help of a few clan rats, managed to take it all the way down to two, was it left, of the brimstones? And then they decided to disappear. Meanwhile, over here, Bishop had been incredibly sneaky. I'd completely whiffed with the big boy. I'd left two left, and he kind of piled around. He was gonna steal this objective. Only had to take a break check that, you know, uh, battle shock check. What's the worst that could happen? Um, apparently, 
Bish rolled a six, and normally he's so happy about rolling sixes, and not this time. Uh, six plus the minus one of the already one that had left, that meant the rest of them left, and they were gone. They ran away, ran away from the big Eshin, um, which almost ruined the battle tactic, but fortunately I was within three inches of this little guy here, so I still did have someone for led into the maelstrom. So in that one, the pulse is here, so I get, I get two, I do have an objective under control, three. I did do my battle tactic for five, which takes me up to eight. Eight plays five. So now we've got to see if we can double the double, as it were. Wugo TV! Oh, no. Oh! Two versus one! Oh, Rat Fink had it planned all along. We're going to take this one. <laughs> three for Rat Fink. Things are starting to go just as he planned. Well, maybe not just as he planned, but hopefully what we hoped for at best. Um, we went for intimidate them. Let's, this is the moment he thought, let's jump out. Now we're feeling a little bit brave. Now things have been shot off, burned off, tiny timmed off. Th this is the moment to swarm onto the objectives. Um, so we thought, right, let's do this thing. Of course, as you still against a high magic army, we got but one spell off. We got flaming weapon on the on the big master, um, but other than that, didn't get anything else off. Even for his troubles, Ratfink got so excited he squirted the musk of fear and managed to double one and cause two wounds on himself. Because yes, of course, that's what we do in magic. Um, and we thought, oh, let's, let's just let's go in now. This is it. So uh, we were already fighting here with a big big rat. Thankful saw his opportunity to turn turn around and club hopefully the the last of the wounds off the um uh, the the chicken that appeared from turn one and tiny tim spurred on by crushing loads of uh, lovely little horrors thought this was the moment to jump on kairos kairos though finest hour it trapped him between a piece of impassable and nar hole you're not really going to get everything we want on him we tried to unload the guns into him but he was just saving like an absolute boss. He has got, what's he got left, Bish? Has he got? Three got? wounds left. He's three wounds left. So we threw everything we could in. We've tied everyone up. Um, we're still fighting with a spawn that we'd never seen before ever in our lives. Um, but we're growing back every time with D3 um, rats that keep coming back to the fight because they're feeling a bit braver now. Um, yeah, so we were quite happy with the pulse being there. We more or less got everything we wanted. Um, uh, we'd like Kairos not to be here, now we're going to have to put up with a lot of damage off him probably. Um, but the pulse is there, so we've got the two, the one here, the one here, making it four. We have an objective, five. we got the battle tactic of intimidate, so gives us the seven. Taking us up to 15 place five with Bish's turn three to come. So fingers crossed we can weather the storm. is not coming. We've, uh, we started the turn with Mayhem, so we had to kill a unit with magic, and we did manage it here. There was a set of four big rats left, and we have managed to get them all. That but blizzard. <laughs> that blizzard <laughs> on uh, 16 mortal wounds. 16 did mortal. And you didn't do, take a single wound yourself. <laughs> it was quite good. The oh. problem is there's a big chicken-shaped gap here. Ooh. Kairos has gone, and that's putting us really on the back foot. We did manage to kill a unit to get the battle tactic, but we hold no objectives and we've just got the three little lads left. So this priority roll is quite key. If we don't get it, it's down the drain, I think, at this point. Decided not really to retreat, did you? Because you thought, well, no. there's, you know, we're, we're, in, we're in We're in for we're it. Go TV! Oh, it's a double six! And uh, 
I think I'll uh, I think I'll close this out. Mike, put, should we just put me out of my conclusion? misery? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Conclusion time. Well, <laughs> I got my Christmas wish. Thank you. <laughs> Rat think he's very happy. He didn't think he had a chance of maybe doing that against all that magical supremacy. It felt quite weird having uh, two, four, sometimes up to seven casts and not being able to get a single spell off. Uh, you know, felt yeah. a bit weird. Um, have you got a zeech of the match? I don't think really anyone pulled their weight this game. Probably the biggest unit was the one, the summoned in chicken. He probably did the most out of anyone. Actually he did, yes. And everyone else sort of just stood there and died. And watched. And watched. Yeah. There was a, yeah. yeah. It was hard because obviously the, you were castling and kind of coming around yeah. to punch out and then... The turns definitely did not go my way. They, this, they, uh, weren't, they weren't in your favour, were no, they? No, definitely not. And I suppose not getting the endless, uh, the, the portals out and things yeah. like that, so couldn't get the long range spells out, so therefore that, that got switched off. Um, Thankful made sure of that, making sure they're not staying around. Um, yeah, and then the jump... I, and we've always said this about the pulse, if you control turns sort of three and four yeah. in the centre, then it's really hard for your opponent to get all the way back, because that's when you can score the big Definitely. sevens in the middle. Definitely. So if you can get your seven and deny the sevens for your opponent, then it, it just becomes so hard to try and get back from, yeah. isn't it? it it's, it's a real pain. Uh, did I did I have a rat of the match? Do I give it a rat thing? Do I give it to Tiny Tim? Not giving it to the big Eshin boy, because no, let's be honest, he, he whiffed a bit. He whiffed he a bit, yeah. Yeah, he, he sort of, uh, it wasn't really for him. Even Thankwall, although he was denying things, he didn't really flame a lot. That I, You know, what the heck, rat thing and Tiny Tim, you know, Tiny Tim doing it on his own, clambering up that, Clambering up that flank and practically taking on the, yeah. the whole army by himself, you know, putting the, the final death knell in once you'd uh, not trapped him in <laughs> anymore. Yeah. And, and maybe just a, you know, a heroic mention to the, uh, the rattling cannon that, yeah. you know, managed a, a glorious nine wounds on the uh, newly formed uh, chicken. Yes, yeah, definitely. That, that, definitely. That was he right. did, yeah. did a big bit <laughs> of punching. <laughs> that, was, that was very, very good. So, yeah, no, it was, a, it, was a, it was a lot of fun. You know, shame we had to cut some conclusions so fast, but it... it you know, it done what it done by that yeah. time. You know, change had not it. come. Ch no, the change had gone. Change, change had gone. Had gone. The, the wind of tides with the skaven, but the rats finally. Yeah. Yes, yes. Rat think is very happy. So, I think on that note, we'll uh, let you carry on falling asleep on um, on the sofa after your massive turkey that you've probably had over Christmas, and uh, and we'll go finish ours. So, uh, until next time. Bye. bye.